What's going on guys, Master Ryu back at it again, and today guys, we're going to be opening up these mini tins. Um, so we got the Arcanine, the Scyther, the Slowpoke, and the Dragonite, obviously with a couple other cute Pokemon off to the side. Um, I already opened up two, um, I didn't actually open up the packs, but I opened up two of them already, and I'll show you guys what you get out of them. You get the, I got a Fire and a Leaf color, or a coin, and then I also have pretty much the design that you get. My personal opinion about these, don't really like them. They're kind of cool concept, but I just, yeah. Rather have an extra pack than one of those. Or like a holographic card or something, I thought that'd be really cool. Um, so, as I'm opening these up guys, I'm gonna kind of go over the uh, front row card show that I recently just went to. And unfortunately guys, I do not have, um, video feed of that and it really does suck and i apologize guys i really wanted to make a video of me like setting everything up kind of showing you guys the, the show the booth <coughs> excuse me and all sorts of other cool stuff i really wanted to see it but i really wanted to create a video for it but unfortunately guys i just didn't get around to doing it i got some feed of when i first arrived and whenever i went to go unload the stuff but that was about it. Didn't really get any other feed of the actual event. And part of the reason why is because I forgot where my, where my camera was. I left it in my car. And every time I remembered that it was in my car, um, I was like, okay, well, I'll go get it after, like, done talking to these people or something. Or my wife went up and walked around. And so no one was there to watch the booth until she got back. And by the time she got back, I forget. So unfortunately, it just, it just didn't happen. Um, but I will kind of go over some of the cool stuff that happened there. So, um, as we open these up. Also, here's the here's some code cards for you guys. Here's that one code card that I got from the Ultra Premium Collection that I forgot to give out in my last video. And here's an Evolution pack, Evolution code card. My wife opened up an Evolution pack and got a Magneton. Cool. All right. So so we got six packs, so I'm not gonna expect anything great out of these. Um, I guarantee the poor it's gonna be trash, but we'll we'll see what that looks like. So to kind of go over the card show for you guys, on a Friday, we were able to go in and start setting up. So I went there, started setting things up, and towards the end of setting up, I, uh, one of the vendors came over and he was looking for uh, Pokemon products. So he basically bought all my Pokemon stuff right underneath me. And for a fair price too, because the way that I did it was I looked on eBay, see what the prices were going for, and then I dropped it down by 10, 20 bucks. Unless the item deemed to be a certain price, then I kept it at that. Um, I don't know if I gave that up. So, so um, that's what we did. So he pretty much just, he asked to load it by another 10, $5. So that's what we did. I'm not gonna say how much I actually made on it, but I will say I made over a thousand dollars worth of the Pokemon stuff. So that was Friday night, and then on Saturday when the actual event happened, I didn't sell very much stuff. I had some fire. I sold, I had some of those Dollar Tree packs from like 2021, 2020, and I sold all those, but all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I only sold like three things. And I had a, a ton. If I have some pictures, I'll show you to you guys. And like right here. Because we did we, we did take some pictures, so if I'm able to put them on here, I will. And um, but I didn't really sell much. And it sucked because I'm like, man. I didn't really sell too much Yu-Gi-Oh. And the crazy part was is like children, like little kids, they honestly did not care too much for the Yu-Gi-Oh. They went up to the booth, they looked, and they're like, eh, you got Pokemon? I was like, uh, I got some, but not very much. So that tells me is that those kids, whenever in like 10 years, whenever they start working, or 10, 15 years, they're wanting to relive their childhood, so they'll go after Pokemon stuff, not Yu-Gi-Oh. So right now, I wouldn't say Yu-Gi-Oh is dead, because I heard a couple vendors say Yu-Gi-Oh is dead. I would say it is not as popular as it used to be. Especially now with just the hobby itself being low, all cards are low. Slowpoke, Ekans, Ditto, and Electric. So sports cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all of them are low right now. And as a primary card show, the primary 
cards that are there um, is just grab it is um, Pokemon and sports cards, specifically graded cards. Um, but they but singles are pretty pretty heavy too. Or total techno. So I was really known as the no two tops. Nothing out of that one, guys. I was really known as the Yu-Gi-Oh guy. It felt like because I felt like I just opened up a museum. Because a lot of people were really interested. People around my age and who are like in their mid twenties were really interested in the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. They came by, took pictures, was really intrigued by it, loved it, but they didn't really want to buy anything. So it kind of concerned me. I was like, man, did I just waste my time and collecting Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff? But no, I think towards the end, I started getting, um, grass. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't have a cool card. I tried to give it away. Um, um, but yeah, I, I, towards the end of the, the show, a guy came up to me and he's like, hey, you should go to this Facebook page. They have some really good, um, they only sell high-end Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon stuff. So you should go on there because I had some stuff that, you know, that could sell for over $100. And try your luck there. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Um, plus, if you guys know anybody who's interested, please hit, hit me up. I'll try to work with you for some really cool stuff. All right, guys. Last pack. Like I said, we ain't getting nothing out of this. This editing will be easy. <laughs> we can't get nothing. Watch us get a cliff fable or a golem. Um. But they were. It was a cool event. They were selling like um, they were selling uh, the premium collections for like a hundred bucks there. I guarantee you they'll go for a little less, but a hundred bucks. Um, I don't know. I thought I thought it was a good experience. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed like seeing the people and and interacting with them and just seeing and just kind of like seeing the reactions to to all because they're like wow you open up like a vault this is crazy and that's why i felt like it was kind of like a um, like a museum a little bit but that was it essentially saturday didn't really sell too much and sunday didn't sell much um and overall i thought it was a good experience i really enjoyed it it was like 200 dollars to rent the booth and another spent like another 150 on the actual stuff like getting a bins and stuff to put this put my products in and all that crap so i was i still made out with money but but i still need to have a lot more work to do because now i thought i was going to come home and not have as much product to deal with but i turns out i have all my products still so it's crazy um i'll try to make another video of the stuff i got and maybe show you guys a few of the items that I'm willing to give away, or not give away, but um, try. Now I'm looking to sell, so I'll try. I'll try to make a video of that. Can't promise you guys, but we'll get to it. But other than that, guys, please like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and stay tuned for the Jane or for the November's mystery box giveaway. We'll be making that video probably within the next week, maybe, and then we'll we'll make that video for you guys to put a comment down. So that's it guys, like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.